are actually five things you can do in order to make your shots more cinematic with the new DJI Pocket 3. Number one is actually how you shoot and what kind of angles you choose. My suggestion for more cinematic shots is to vary your shots. For example, you can use this boomstick, really long one, in order, for example, to go really, really high and have a, a nice angle from the top down or sort of mimic a drone in a place where you actually cannot use that. Another thing you can use is that little tripod, for example, and have a nice static shot. The third thing I would say, do various different kinds of shots. You have a wide shot, establishing shot, do some close-up, it will instantly look a lot more cinematic. <laughs> And the second thing are the settings. I highly recommend that you first of all shoot in a pro settings. So first go to the exposure and definitely you want to choose manual exposure. And here you can choose from, I would say two frame rates, 24 frames per second or 60 frames per second. If you want to have that cinematic look, 24 frames per second in real time speed will be very nice. But you have to remember you have to use the 180 degree rule meaning if you're choosing 24 frames per second your shutter speed should be 1 over 50th uh, double the frame rate basically the same thing with the 60 frames per second you should have your shutter speed 1 over 125 that's the closest one to have uh, double the frame rate and 60 frames per second is really nice because you will be able to slow the footage down again that looks a little bit cinematic and also if, if it's possible if you're shooting outdoors you want to keep your ISO as low as possible so I'm setting somewhere from, from 50 to 100 100, but as you can see in a lot of situations it could be that it is extremely overexposed so what you want to do is actually you want to use these ND filters ND filters are basically like sunglasses for the camera and by putting one of these on you are able to uh, cut out some light further on you don't want to shoot in automatic white balance I would uh, highly suggest that you are using uh, one set white balance based on the environment you are at and then basically you are able to color grade the footage in post-production and this brings me to another point definitely shoot in D log M um, I because that gives you the most dynamic range and ability to color grade and that's gonna be really important in the next step so the third thing is the story the composition and the rules well, first of all, the story, if you have a powerful story, you can really make a great impact on your video. The second thing, the composition helps you tell the story, helps you show who the main uh, character is. And the third thing, rules, let's not forget, let's break them, but let's also understand them and let's not forget about them, like I told you with the shutter speed, the 180 degree rule and so on. So and I think number four is color grading. Color grading allows you so much to add to the story. Through the colors you can show to the audience what they are supposed to feel and what is the, the whole idea of the video. So definitely that's why I told you it's really important for you to shoot in D-Log M profile because it's a log profile which means it allows you to color grade and edit the footage in non-destructive way. It also gives you a lot more uh, dynamic range to your footage so don't neglect that. And lastly, thing number five is sound effects and the music. Without that, no cinematic video can be done, I believe. I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but guys, you really seriously need to pay attention to the music and the sound effects that you use in your video because that will add just so, so, so much. Here's an example of this very short sequence without any sound effect, without any music. And here's the same sequence with music and sound effects. huge difference right so guys those are the five things I think are really important for you to keep in mind in order to create the, your footage more cinematic let me know in the comments down below if you think there's anything else you would like to add or if you have any questions I'll keep on creating videos like these and I'll see you all in the next video very very soon bye